Hi, this is Rabbi Mark Angel of the Institute for Jewish Ideas and Ideals. Our website is jewishideas.org. The question that we've received a number of times actually relates to the way Orthodox rabbis do or do not accept converts to Judaism. I receive dozens, probably hundreds of calls, emails, inquiries every year from individuals who are interested in converting to Judaism, who have gone to Orthodox rabbis and who have been turned away or turned off and uh, been treated in a rather abrupt fashion. I received a call very recently from a, or from a potential convert who is going out with an Orthodox Jewish woman who went to the rabbi of the community of the, uh, his fiance or his girlfriend and was treated in such an abrupt fashion, uh, in such a harsh fashion, that he uh, got turned off entirely. Uh, luckily, he found uh, me, he called me, and I tried to calm him down. But I didn't do enough of a job. He ended up slamming the phone on me after speaking in very rude and vulgar language, I might say, about the Orthodox rabbinic establishment in general, and his particular experiences in particular. But what is happening here? Why is it that individuals hundreds of them, even thousands of them, who are not Jewish, who choose to become Jewish, are treated in such a, an abrupt fashion, unpleasant fashion, unreceptive fashion, by the Orthodox rabbinate, and I would go even further, uh, by the Orthodox community in general. The chief rabbinate in Israel is certainly part of the problem, a very big part of the problem. The policies of the Rabbinical Council of America, which basically go hand in hand with the chief rabbinate's policies, also has been very damaging to an inclusive policy, a respectable and respective, uh, respected kind of policy towards converts. Uh, I've written a lot on the subject. Uh, you can see my article, one of my recent articles on our website, jewishideals.org, as the top article in the Minha Mufkar section. I also have a book called Choosing to be Jewish, The Orthodox Road to Conversion, which you can also obtain through our website, jewishideals.org. And I'm not going to go through all the halakhic uh, arguments here. But I could point out one obvious point, namely that Talmud says that anyone who oppresses a convert, and I would include in that those who are interested in converting, is guilty of 36 and possibly 46 uh, violations of the Torah. Treating converts abruptly, unreceptively, unwarmly is a terrible sin. Here are individuals who have made major choice in their lives to leave their religion to leave in many respects their families, their cultural backgrounds, to join the Jewish people. To be sure not everyone who wants to convert is sincere, not everyone who wishes to convert is proper for its conversion, and yet I found over my experience of over 40 years dealing with would-be converts that a vast, vast majority are wonderful people, wonderful, caring, thoughtful people who wish to join the Jewish people. And it's our job as Jews who love our own religion and love our Torah to try to make our Torah more appealing to these individuals. I know all the questions about standards, all the questions about trying to, be, to ascertain that the would-be convert will have kept all the misvote. But I'm also perfectly aware of the halakhic literature that, that deals with the subject in a very lenient, very loving, and very compassionate way. Rabbi Chaim Amsalem uh, of Israel has come out with several very important books, Mizera Yisrael, uh, in which he has demonstrated beyond a shadow of any doubt that the vast weight of halakhic authority over the centuries has been inclusive even for those individuals who come to convert without the most perfect ulterior motives. Um, our institute is working with uh, Rabbi Am Salem. We're hoping to publish his book in a popular Hebrew version as well as in an English version. It's important that the Orthodox public in general, and certainly the rabbis, be aware of the fact that there are alternative views and that the Haredi extreme view which is popular today is not only not the only correct approach, not only the only approach available, but it is not a correct approach, not correct halakhically and not correct morally. So why am I talking to you today? I'm talking because to change the status quo requires a lot of work. Our institute is working for that. Our, I, as a rabbi, have been working very hard writing, working with like-minded individuals here and in Israel. There are various rabbis here and in Israel and throughout the world who are deeply concerned about this and are trying their best. But what we need is not just a few rabbis here and there to work on the problem. We need the masses of the Orthodox community to weigh in on the subject. 
We need people to speak to their own rabbis and let their rabbis know that they want the rabbis to take a more compassionate, inclusive view towards receiving converts. We want converts to feel at home in Orthodox synagogues. We want them to feel that they have friends and family within our community. Not that they're treated like outsiders, not that they're treated as strangers who are intruding upon us. To make this happen requires a sea change, not just in rabbinic thinking, but also in the thinking of the community at large. So I'm asking all individuals who share this world viewpoint, which I think is the halakhically, morally, ethically correct viewpoint, to please let your voices be heard. Speak to your own synagogue rabbis. Speak to the rabbis who are leading your day schools. Speak to the rabbis of your community and let them know that we want an Orthodox Jewish community that is receptive, inclusive, loving to potential converts and certainly a community that is loving and accepting to those who already have converted to Judaism according to the halakha. We want not to create barriers between us and the converts. On the contrary, we want to find ways of including them to build strong Jewish homes, Jewish families, Jewish communities. There's a lot at stake here. It's not just a life of one convert or 1,000 converts. It's a life in the spiritual sense of the entire Jewish community. So please help in this important effort. You can each do something important by letting your opinion be known. Whether the rabbi listens to you or doesn't, if there are a lot of people speaking up, this issue will not be able to be swept under the rug. Thanks for listening to this program. Uh, again, please visit our website at jewishideas.org. Let us hear your opinions, participate, ask, and our YouTube channel is here for you. If you have questions on any nature of halakha questions or questions of hashkafa, please feel free to ask your questions. Uh, we'll do our best to answer them. You can ask your questions at the YouTube channel, or you can send me an in email at info at jewishideas.org. Thanks so much. All the best. Chazak, chazak, and let there be peace for all of Israel. Shalom, shalom.